Hi everyone, it's Steven from Future Looks, and today we celebrate NVIDIA launch day. That's right, NVIDIA has a brand new GPU out there called the GTX 460. Uh, a couple of things that make it special is that it has 336 CUDA cores, uh, seven streaming multiprocessors, and 56 texture units. Um, the GPU clock runs at 675 megahertz uh, with a memory clock of 900 megahertz. It'll be coming in two versions, one that's 760 megabyte and one that's one gigabyte. Both cards have GDDR5 memory, but with a distinct difference. The 768 megabyte version of the card will have a 192 bit bus, while the one gigabyte version will have a 256 bit bus. Power is the only other major one. The uh, smaller uh, memory card will actually have a 150 watt uh, max uh, TDP, uh, while the uh, one gigabyte version has a uh, 160 watt uh, TDP. Uh, as far as pricing goes, of course, the 768 megabyte version will be a little bit cheaper. It'll sit at $199 uh, for most cards, and the uh, one gigabyte version will sit at $229. Um, as you can see, uh, this particular card is aimed straight towards uh, ATI's HD5830 card and possibly some of the overclocked versions of the HD5770. The two cards that we reviewed the other day will be put into a three-way showdown between the new GTX 460 and those two other cards later on today. But before we do that, we're going to have a special unboxing of MSI's new N460 GTX Cyclone 768D5, which is a 768 megabyte version uh, running uh, GDDR5 memory um, that is actually overclocked from factory speeds. Now, factory speeds um, start at 675 megahertz. The GTX 460 from MSI is actually overclocked uh, to 725 megahertz and uses a non-reference cooling solution that looks to be made by Zalman uh, based on the general design of the heatsink. Um, this is actually one of two manufacturers that I'm aware of that has not gone with the stock reference design, uh, the other one being Gigabyte, which also has their own overclocked uh, version of the card and runs a uh, cooler that's similar to what's on their HD5830 but shrunk down a little bit. Now before we get a uh, specification overload, let's get on with that unboxing, shall we? So here's MSI's N460 GTX Cyclone 768D5 OC Edition video card. Again, this is based on uh, NVIDIA's GTX 460 uh, GPU and is an overclocked version of the card that takes the 675 megahertz stock clock to 725 megahertz out of the box. Opening up the flap here, we have some uh, information about the card, and we also get to see the card through the little window right here, uh, which is kind of nice. Great presentation. This box looks like it's actually been opened before, but hopefully everything's there. So here's the uh, first layer of the card, and as you can see, there's no anti-static bag to uh, hinder you, your view of the card. Um, this is just a plastic piece that we pull off here to get to the card, and it's nice to see that everything's packed in foam so that uh, it can survive a, uh, a rough trip across the uh, country. The card itself uh, uses the, uh, that cyclone cooler that we were talking about here. Looks very much like a Zalman design. It could very well be a Zalman cooler. Uh, there are two 6-pin PCIe uh, power connectors. I've actually never seen this before, but this, the PCIe uh, slot is actually uh, covered with a uh, protective cover and shipping. Now I know I probably will never use this again uh, once I install the card, but you know it's nice to see that these little touches are being uh, done to these cards despite the uh, rather uh, slim, uh, slim bundle. Uh, the SLI finger is also covered, and you'll see here that MSI has branded pretty much everything, including the covers as well as the back uh, PCI plate, uh, which is actually kind of nice. It's, uh, it's a nice touch to customize the cart. Black PCB on the back, and military cl class components all around. You'll see the, uh, the uh, solid capacitors as well as the solid uh, chokes right here. Moving on to the bundle that it comes with, you'll see two piece, six pin PCI to Molex uh, adapter cables, one DVI to HDMI adapter, 
and one VGA to DVI adapter. Underneath the foam piece, you'll see another uh, compartment. And this is where you would normally expect the manual, except I'm not seeing one here. But I do see that the MSI VGA team has actually uh, hand tested my particular card. Um, so this is probably why my card looks like it's been opened before. And of course you get the uh, MSI driver CD, uh, which is pretty much out of date by the time I open this box up. Uh, however, in the case of the uh, GTX 460, the drivers actually haven't been released yet. So that means that uh, this card actually has the latest drivers uh, on the CD and the latest version of MSI's Afterburner technology, which allows you to use the voltage adjustments. Um, the, the software is actually really good. It works on ATI as well too, and it can be downloaded for free from MSI's site. And that's all there is to it. We'd like to thank you again for checking out our uh, unboxing video of the uh, MSI N460 GTX Cyclone uh, video card based on NVIDIA's new GTX 460 GPU. And don't forget, we're going to be having a three-way showdown between uh, this new $200 mainstream uh, gaming card and ATI's two mainstream gaming cards, the uh, HD 5830, which we unboxed before, of course, and the HD 5770 Superclock, uh, both of which are made by Gigabyte. So make sure that you hit future looks for that. That should be up uh, a little bit later on today. Um, thank you again for uh, checking out one of our videos. And if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we will see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone.